Have you ever held a cup of coffee and wonder what its story was? Imagine all the work that went into it, the people who crafted it, the roads it traveled to get into your hands. Well, this is the story that's about to be told. In Costa Rica, more than 50,000 families make their living growing coffee. The beans are not grown on giant tracts of land. 92% of these families are small growers with plantations less than 3 hectares in size. Together, our small country produces 1% of the coffee consumed worldwide. Being small has allowed us to focus on quality over quantity, and quality has come to define Costa Rican coffee. But what is it that makes our coffee so good? There are too many factors to list here. But of all the reasons Costa Rica's product is truly special, a few stand out. El café de Costa Rica tiene una serie de, de diferenciaciones que son muy importantes. Primero, es un café 100% arábica, cultivado en las faldas de los volcanes. Adicionalmente, los microclimas que se desarrollan en este país, a nivel de temperatura, luminosidad, precipitación, hacen que el grano tenga unas características organolépticas que son muy difíciles de igualar. Y aquí no nos podemos olvidar de que hacemos recolección manual. ¿verdad? Cada grano es recolectado este, grano por grano. It all starts with the fruit. Making a great cup of coffee depends on picking the coffee fruit when it's fully ripe. In Costa Rica, all coffee fruit is harvested by hand, the work of thousands of individuals. The law guarantees them a minimum price for each basket. Once harvested, the coffee is delivered to one of thousands of receiving locations, relieving the small producers of the cost and burden of transport. Porque las cooperativas nos exigen calidad. Y uno como productor le exige calidad a los recolectores también. Entonces eso viene siendo una cadena que al final termina en, un buena, en una buena taza. In Costa Rica, we say that coffee is delivered, not sold. Since the trade is regulated under law number 2762 that guarantees equality and fair pay to all involved. Thanks to this regulation, unheard of in other countries, there are no speculators or middlemen in Costa Rica to take advantage of producers. The harvested coffee remains the property of the producer until its final sale. The law allows for advance payments to help the producers keep operating until the coffee is actually sold. Un productor que desconoce las fluctuaciones de la bolsa de Nueva York y las fuerzas de oferta y demanda tiene la garantía de que recibe el mejor precio posible al que pudo venderle beneficio. Entonces, esta es una garantía de un precio final que viene a ser más o menos el 80% del precio final de venta. ¿Qué tiene esto que ver con la calidad del café? La respuesta es bastante bien. And not just because a producer who receives fair compensation is willing and able to invest and improve in the crop every year. Beyond that, the producer delivers the coffee fruit to a specialized processor with years of experience. The better the coffee that emerges from this process, the easier it is to sell. The better price it commands at market, the greater the profit for the producers, and the more producers that return to do it all again the next season bringing prosperity to all. This system isn't just designed to guarantee fairness, but also to motivate everyone to do his or her part to make sure the best possible coffee ends up in your cup. Returning to the bean and its path to the cup, the harvesters harvest, the producers deliver the crop, and by 4 p.m. that day, it is ready for processing. This speedy delivery avoids fermentation and ensures a consistent product. The process is done in accordance with rigorous environmental standards. Groundwater is conserved, wastewater is purified, organic waste is composted, and methane gas produced in the process is used to fuel the drying of the beans. What does this environmental consciousness have to do with the quality of our coffee? We're convinced that it plays a significant part. As the growers say, the coffee is thankful. It is thankful for the shade of trees, the scent of colorful flowers, the songs of birds, and the clear waters that flow and revitalize our plantations. You might question whether this actually makes a difference when it comes to the taste of the coffee, but there is no doubt that it makes a difference when it comes to the planet we all share. 
The majority of our coffee farms are true agroforestry systems with 70 trees per hectare. And we're working to make Costa Rica's and the world's first carbon neutral coffee crop by 2021. Of course, all of this comes at a price, a price that isn't reflected in the ups and downs of Wall Street. But even when prices are down, Costa Rica's producers strive to make a better product because every cloud has a silver lining. Economic challenges have forced producers to better understand what they grow. Today, each batch is tasted at the point of processing or right at the farm itself, as the search continues for new flavors that emerge from Costa Rica's wide variety of microclimates. Today, there is not just a different coffee for each region. There is a different coffee for every taste, for every occasion. Ese cliente que llega dice, ¿qué, ¿qué nuevo tienen este año? Hay que tener algo nuevo. But let's get back to the bean, this bean that has been used to make your cup of coffee. Our exceptional system allows us to vouch for every one of our coffee beans, thanks to monitoring, registration, and verification under the auspices of Costa Rica's Institute of Coffee. We know how each one was processed, on what date and at what time, how much water was used and how far it traveled. And tell the story of each producer who made this harvest possible. Of course, the best part of the story is the end, when the bean lives up to its full, flavorful potential and takes an honor place in your cup.